I've been playing the new PUBG snow map a lot, so much I lost my voice due to streaming it too much, which is why I sound a bit like a sick Batman. This video is about the new parachute system in PUBG and how to land the fastest. In order to find the fastest way to land, I spend about 8 hours jumping out of the plane, landing, analyzing the results, leaving game and doing the same again. I analyzed all the replays and studied how the fastest people got down to the ground. I used this information and tested several ways to jump. Wave jumping, curve wave jumping, jumping in a straight line, diving directly down and diving in the path of a cycloid and much more random stuff that I'm not showing here. I tested with a ton of different distances from the drop location too and in the end I could conclude that wave jumping is dead and no longer makes sense doing. Regardless of how I flew, the method didn't seem to matter that much. But instead, these core principles mattered a lot. The most important thing is that when your parachute opens, you must fly at at least 231 km per hour vertical velocity because then you will continue to fall during the opening of the chute. Just look how I overtake these people. I'm behind in the beginning, but I still land before them because I'm flying at that vertical velocity. And if you don't do this, it's gonna look like this. If you open at 234 compared to 231, you gain a small speed benefit, but it's very small. The most important thing is that you get this downwards motion. How far away from your destination you drop out of the plane did not seem to matter that much, but what mattered was that you still have enough altitude to dive to gain 231 km per hour as your chute opens. When your chute opens, you must be between 100 and 120 meters away from your final destination, depending on how high up you land. If you land on a mountain, this number will be lower, and if you land in the bottom of a valley, this number will be higher. During all of these tests, I developed my own preferred way to jump, illustrated right here. I like to drop about 600 meters away from my target destination. I instantly accelerate to about 200 km per hour vertical velocity. This can be done while holding shift as you exit the plane. I then level out a bit and fly at about 205 to 210 km per hour vertical velocity. When 100 to 120 meters away from my final destination, I dive straight down, again holding shift. I am then able to reach at least 231 km per hour vertical velocity before my chute opens to get that extra downwards motion. This method has given me the most consistent results and is my preferred and recommended way to do this. But like I said, the most important thing is to reach that 231 km per hour vertical velocity as your parachute opens and if you do this you should never be too far behind. The reason for these results are that the new parachuting system is incredibly responsive. Accelerating, braking and turning is so quick. I like the new system and I will be bringing you some tips and tricks on cool ways to land in the future, as cutting your chute early brings some interesting new things to the table. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys next time.